Uh, here we are again. So, I'm like, what's a break? Sales are good. I figure I'd come in here to promote them a little bit better. I can't have good in this company. I didn't build this company to be good. I built this company to strive on excellence. And that's what I've been doing. But I want to continue it. And you have to push it as hard as you can. You get in that ring. And on a Monday. By the end of Monday. If you're not bleeding. Pickles you didn't work hard enough. Mm -hmm. Oh that's cool. Anyway, so right off the bat, we're going to do ahi lemon drop, capsicum piccatum. They grow very quick. Starting your seeds, what you want to do is you want to do the capsicum chinins types, and depending upon your region and everything. So I'm just taking this powder, all of the powder, putting it on a sandwich. Will I burn? Yes. Will I burn massively? No. Leon, what's up? Got a mass permit. I don't want to spill it. Oh, I didn't know that. That's a massive pile. Ooh, I almost lost my cell phone on that one. Yeah, I'll have to check it out. I did not know that. I'm not on a lot of groups anymore. Oh, wait. YouTube. YouTube. Okay. So, big pile. Tastes like lemons. I did basically the whole pouch of this. What I send out, it's a little bit less than what I send out, people. Nice citrusy flavor. It's a sweet heat. Sweet heat citrus. It's not a super hot. It's just not. The massive pile is right here. Right here. Notice there's a sticker on a lemon. I don't think a lot of people knew that. I put my company sticker on an actual lemon in the picture. This is really good. Well, this is uh, one of the most citrusy. Fruity flavors. Santa Lucia Island. It's not a super hot. It's hot. But it's not super hot. One of the most fruity flavors out there. Okay, this is getting me. This one's getting me. But, not massively. I got a nice burn. Yeah. I mean, honestly, for a hot pepper... Fruity flavor, Santa Lucia Island. I've never had anything fruitier flavored. It's almost like Hawaiian Punch. Mini, M.A. Mini War Tricks. I forgot about that. That should be on the website. If not, let me know because I definitely got seeds for that. M.A. Mini War Tricks. I never advertise that either. Look, They're like this. I ah, made you look. No. But they're like this. They're really good. Matthew Arthur, down in Arkansas. He's a good guy. He's a really good guy. And uh, he does that. M.A. Mini War Tricks. The Mini War Tricks. So there's that. Um, I need to have more powders. i got to send powders out to uh, Matt. So, Gordon St. Gardner, Jimmy, I'm Ubering right now. 
Just picked up some members of the Spin Doctors. Pretty cool. Hey, you're kidding me. Yeah, that's cool. Hey, do a selfie with them. What do they do? Kryptonite. So. Pocket full of kryptonite. So let's do more. We're going to step it up. We've done this already, but we're going to do it again. What the heck? Let's go back. You know what motivated me? I'm going to be honest, Matt, from Operation Capsaicin, and I'll get you a package ready for powders. What motivated me? I'm going to be dead honest. I had 22 people messaging me and three phone calls about peppers in the matter of, like, no time at all. Okay. Um, so I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to go live if I'm going to talk. Uh, Leon says, I haven't checked. Do you have any bottles for sale? No, I don't sell powders at all. We all love Matt. We all love Matt. That's why we support him. I like to support people. You know, you get a feeling when you... A good feeling. A very good feeling. <laughs> That's Mr. Rogers. When you support other people. Well, folks. Came here not to do powder reviews, but I came to tell you about a portal. I'm probably going to get in trouble with the government, but there is a portal. And what you do, you find the portal. You eat a lot of hot stuff, and you get an endorphin rush, and there's your portal. You can time travel by doing peppers. <laughs> no, I'm just messing around. <laughs> uh, I'm goofy as crap. So, yellow ghost. Oh, powder. Look at that. Let's really focus on that. It's a lot of powder, folks. <coughs> so, I'm going to time travel with this pepper portal powder. Let's go. Nice flavor. About a throat burn. Kind of sandy. Kind of freaking heat. Looking for isolated seeds? JPPepperSeeds.com Holy crap. I'm burning good now. Tongue's on fire. Eyes are getting glossy. Air. Breathe it in with air. I'm going to hurt tomorrow. And I'm not going to care tonight. I just lost a lot of people. It's because everybody ran off. Seven people ran off to buy the seeds. <laughs> oh, I'm burning good. Nice tongue burn. It's steady. Let's go, Penguins. I haven't even watched the game in like a week. 
All right, I got another sandwich. What am I going to do? I just did. I'm just going to eat it normal. How about that? Something plain. You know, thinking about things, it would have been really nice if I had powder for every type of pepper I grew this year. It would have been pretty nice. But I would have never slept for six months. That's how much I work. Saturday night, I'm going to get all the orders done. I'll get that. I got to finish up these powders. Like packaging them. I don't sell powders though. I do not sell powders. Oh. The sandwich is ham and cheese. Hawaiian bread. Hawaiian bread. Best bread next to... What is it? Permit? No, Permani Brothers. Mancini. Pittsburgh. Man Mancini bread. Best bread. Best bread in Pittsburgh. You guys ever stop around Pittsburgh? Let me know. I can always meet up with people. Have some pizza. You do a pizza review. One bite, everybody knows the rules. <laughs> you know, I was contemplating doing the pizza review. I kind of went against it. I'm like, something like that, you really got to start early. Yeah, who sent me messages here? I always get messages. Who the F is... Yeah, I don't know that answer. So, I want to get more reviewers. If you're a reviewer, contact me. I might turn you down. I like one review. One powder. Jimmy Pickles does not sell the powder. Isolated seeds. JPPepperSeeds.com to all the hot ladies in the house, Jimmy Pickles is single. Clearly he's single. He's going live 24-7. So, there's that. Uh, so, I always work to do. Always. I can always transplant more. Plants are slowly getting bigger. Planter cells are like two, three, five seeds in there you know i was thinking i've been thinking the last couple days to be as honest as possible these videos can be a lot better and they will be you know what outdoors got to do outdoors got to do an outdoor video i sound like rain man got to got to got to do outdoor video <laughs> oh so all right let's move the table back i kind of had it pulled out from before. So I'm wondering if I have stuff to transplant. Get it moving. You know, maybe I could transplant a little bit, do some transplanting on video. Yeah. Not 
really and you know keywords things when you're growing hang out with your plants that's what I'm doing Saturday night hang out with your plants make sure certain plants do not dry up stuff like that just keep an eye keep looking at them see if they need you know the plants that's another thing you know I've been disassociating myself with Facebook as much as possible so I think actually what I should do is charts I need to put charts on go to Jimmy Pickles follow your growth page and the Jimmy Pickles product line LLC I'll start putting charts out. So basically the charts would be anything that will help your uh, identify issues. Because your plants will tell you what you need. If your plants get real wrinkly, calcium deficiency, uh, nutrient burn would be, it, it would just start crinkling and drying up. Sometimes you get this a similar thing from too much heat or uh, hot spot, light, too much stuff like that. Uh, talk to a customer tonight, edema, which is basically too much water uptake. You water your plants and uh, too much water. You know, it's actually not too much water because if that was the issue for edema, you would always have edema with hydroponics. So it's not really the issue. The issue is oxygen to the roots. You water them too much, the soil compacts, and you get edema. So, you know what? I really don't have anything to... Well, I do. I keep overlooking. Yeah, what the heck? Let's transplant. Let's do some transplanting. Here I am. All right. I'll do a little bit of transplanting. Oh, yeah. I want to germinate more. One, two, three, four, five. I keep forgetting. I could actually germinate some more. Let's transplant. Just start with that. People ask me about the soils to use all the time. It's preference. There's 10 billion soil companies out in the world. I don't know what's the best. I use Ocean Forest Fox Farm. It gets a little pricey. Prices on uh, garden supplies have gone up. So there's that. Transplant. I always squeeze the containers, loosens up the roots. I reached my goal. I reached my goal. Of uh, 4,000 watchtowers. 
I'm at like 4,100. I ended up getting like 100 watch hours in one day. Like 100 watch hours in one day. That's a lot. That's good. People are like, Dad, pickles. Going live a lot, man. Well, I had goals. I want to reach goals. I'm a hard worker, kid. This is one. This one's not ready. None of these are really ready. I'm just kind of. Those plants are dry. Looking at anything else. Maybe. Might be another plant or two over here. Just hanging out. If guys got questions. Feel free to ask. I'm eventually getting off Facebook. I'm tired of it. Here's a... I'm, I'm pl transplanting this a little premature acidotoma. People ask me when's the time to uh, transplant. It's when the roots form everything. Yeah, they fill out, but you don't want root bound. And, you know, there's some people say, well, what the heck? Why do smaller containers suddenly work up? Mother Nature on Earth has always been the huge earth is the container for the plants as long as the roots are strong enough the roots will go out throughout earth as long as the plants are strong enough why don't we do that mr pickles well the environment so because i can't grow them outside right now and they would never produce if i'd start germinating the seeds outside plus animals heavy rain stuff like that i'm ensuring more of a pot, uh, more of a success rate for life. Water these in. You know, it. I always find it interesting. And uh, I'm looking for the word. I don't know. Um, impressive. I find it impressive. When I take a couple days off from uh, doing this YouTube stuff, and people are like, dude, you all right? We miss you. Like, miss me? Who the heck's going to miss me? Ain't nobody going to miss me. But, uh, yeah, I'm always impressed people say that. It's nice. It's nice to hear, I guess. All right. Uh... I need to clear out that space a little bit. I don't think I need two paper towel rolls down here. that out plants are doing well it's 
not all that necessary to do all that. Any questions, comments, concerns? Sorry I'm late to the party. Laying in the hospital was tough. Dude, oh yeah, what happened, Dennis? I know you mentioned that. Chad Bain. Cad Bain. Who's that? Um, America Grow. Bruce Cook says, I'm growing to experiment with using Miracle Grow performance organic potting soil this season for all my transplants. Ed Curry says it works well with all his reapers. Whatever you want. So, yeah. Hey, Terry. What's going on? Where are you from, AJ? Look, let loud. Where are you from? I'll buy pizza. I'm in the uh, Pittsburgh area. I think you are, too. Oh, had my cancer removed. Oh, I'm so sorry, Dennis. Uh, hopefully, you're doing okay. Cranberry, okay. I'm by Washington County. I don't bring people in here, but we could always meet up for pizza sometime, maybe during the week or something. I meet so many people, I forget, but I am getting better. I am getting better. Or worse. <laughs> I don't know. Let's keep transplanting. Cranberry. I don't even know how far cranberry is. What was that? Notifications. Pickles, I will meet you out in the parking lot. Your ass is grass. Okay. Um, okay, yeah, I don't think cran cranberry is too far. I live 10 minutes from 79. So you're gonna you guys in the matter of about six, eight weeks you're gonna see a massive change. Massive. I'm gonna be like really fat. But seriously, I'm gonna this room's gonna be filled, plants are gonna be much bigger. You're gonna watch how fast I grow. Best pizza is down near you anyway. All the Italians down south of Pittsburgh. You know, I was just having a discussion, AJ, about pizza. And they're really... In Bethel Park, there's really no good pizza places here. There's, there's not. Pittsburgh. You got Fury's. Uh, there's a couple places, Anthony's. But they were like a thinner pie, which I normally don't like. But they were fantastic. I think they closed up. Anthony's. I freaking loved Anthony's pizza. But, yeah, there's some really good places. Yeah, one of these days we'll have to meet up. Yeah, I, no, it's weird. I've been in the pepper community for like 12 years. Do you know how many people I've met? than a handful of people. I don't go to conventions. I just don't. 
I sell seeds. People who sell seeds generally don't go to hot sauce conventions because, you know, it's usually hot sauce. But still go. I do want to go to one in general. I was going to go to Bowers, and I got too busy last year. Maybe I'll get a Bowers Festival this year, the end of the year. Bowers, uh, Bowers PA, that would be happen to be Jay Turner. You know, uh, got people who do not know Jay Weaver. That would be the Jay's Peach Go Scorpion. Jay's Red Go Scorpion. That's where those came from. Let's do one more. Oh, what do we have here? Check this out. That's a JP creation, folks. You know I'm growing like 70 plants of these. So, there you have it. You guys are going to see some more exclusives this year. And then people will put it on their website without giving me credit. But, I expect it. Yeah, I've been working on this stuff for five years. Right here, five years. So, this is uh, some of my work, personal work. All right. So, I'm going to have to start making decisions here, down here, about what I'm going to do. Lighting. Honestly, I think I'm going to leave things the way they kind of are. But, these tables eventually got to go. Honestly, one of them. Ugh. would be fun. My dad was a steel worker and welder for Dravo. <coughs> I was a welder for 17 years. I worked for Recon for 10. Worked for Washington Steel down in uh, Washington County. Right off of Jefferson. Is it Jacob or Jessa? It was uh, off of Jefferson Avenue, Washington County. I worked there as a welder. I uh, Waco welding. Seven Springs, you know the snowmakers in Seven Springs? I welded those up. I did that. I mean, I'm sure not all of them now. That was years ago. That was like one of my first welding jobs, so 17 years ago. Uh, recon, I worked for McConway and Turley. I worked for them in the train yards. And then uh, I ended up being a lab technician. I feel like I'm going for a job interview. I was a lab technician. I did research and development for future products um, in laboratories. And I worked for a guy named Jay who actually worked on the Mars rover. And we worked together on projects. Uh, the project's funding. Bill Gates, they were going to get involved with Bill Gates. So Bill Gates came down and they had meetings and all that other stuff. I never met Bill Gates, so it would have been cool, but uh, I don't think he got the funding. They moved down to Arizona, and he went to uh, Jay, still owns the companies, and then he, that was in Lawrenceville, 32nd Street. You can look it up. You can look it up. All the writing, all the stuff I'm saying is on the website. Aquium Energy, 32nd Street, Lawrenceville. So I worked for them. I really liked working for them. It was a weird job, but I did enjoy it. I miss some of the people. We used to screw with some people down there. Um, Zach. There was a guy, Zach, down there. Um, he said something really weird. This is just work stories. 
and I screwed with his computer because I always showed up to work. I was the guy who always showed up to work first and last. I just got a notification my battery's at 15%. So I screwed with his computer. I So the sec, it was, I put a timer on his uh, player. So he said something like, oh yeah, man, uh, I'm a dangerous guy or something like real cheesy. Like everybody's like, what the hell? the hell's this guy talking about, man? So, I put a timer, it was like every 16 minutes, it would play Glenn Fry Highway to the Danger Zone, and his wallpaper screensaver was like Top Gun. <laughs> he used to screw with them all the time. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah. It, it's kind of weird uh, working for myself, though. So I, I think that's why I've been relying on this a little bit more. You know, with COVID out in the world, I don't get out much. Kind of a basket case, if you ask me. 50% is more than enough to hang out. Arsenal Gallup. That's a hike from Bethel. Oh, yes, yes, it is. Damn, dude, Lawrenceville? Yes. Uh, Dirk says, I found a hot sauce supplier this afternoon. That was $5 cheaper on the sauce. I like needs to say I reordered sauces or sauces, but seed buying them. I'm loyal. Thank you. I do appreciate Hey! Hey, it's, look who it is, Pepper Baby Burns. How you doing? How you feeling? Didn't even see you. I'm just over here rambling. Talk about work stories and all kinds of crap on a Saturday night. I think after finding your site, then going to Bowers Pepper Festival just made me crave peppers. Yes. Kenny Loggins. Oh, yeah, I guess it would be Kenny. Highway to the Danger Zone? Is that Kenny Loggins? I thought that was Glenn Fry. I don't know. I can't remember, but we screwed with this thing. Oh, I got to find this. I got to find it. I know I have this picture. And I, if I find this picture, it is going on Facebook. I made a mistake. I made a bad mistake once, okay? We're talking 15-ton mistake. <laughs> a big mixer. I put carbon in it. I was, I was doing moisture. You know, I always talk about moisture, like moisture on your plants, edema, moisture for germinating. When I say that, I, I i mean, you guys can't read my mind, but when I'm talking about moisture, 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 I just sit there and think about moisture content. I wanted 4.2 to 5% moisture in carbon. I was doing some experiments with carbon and everything, and I used a mixer. Well, the problem is with the mixer, the threads on, on this, you know, you had to pull like a manhole cover. But the threads are worn out. I told the boss, hey, man, threads are worn off, worn out. What, what can we do, you know? And he's like, you know, do the best you can, do the best you can. So I put it on there, went down, hit the green button. And all of a sudden, the lid comes off, 15 tons of carbon. I shit you not. I shit you not. I'm running. I'm freaking running. I'm running. Huge carbon. 15 tons of carbon behind me. By the way, I'm in a NASA suit. I'm in a NASA suit at the time, running like this. 15 tons of carbon. No joke. What's the worst thing that can happen? Boss pulls out the cell phone and takes a picture. Click. He sent it over to my cell phone. I'm like, ah, oh, dude. Not only was it a screw up, but you got it. You got it on, on picture. There's a picture of it. I might have to go through my old cell phones and find that picture. I thought I saved it on my email. I mean, it's a fantastic picture. It's just like, yeah, 15 ton mistake, but you know what? Hey, the threads were messed up. I told you about it. He didn't fire me. They laughed about it. We had a meeting with all the bosses. Slideshow. All right, so this is what, this is the chemical structure. 
for this and uh, what we need to do is based on this and performance and all that you know, seeing, uh, oh there's Mr. Pickles there running for 15 tons of carbon and I'm like oh man so anyway let's uh okay you guys are uh you're going live on TikTok cool Mom and I get crazy in TikTok, no judgments. Um, my bad, Walker, I forgot to hit send. You guys are talking about emails, that's okay. Hey, Jimmy, is it normal that the seeds for the pineapple, ro it's Rokoto, seeds look black? Yes, it's, it's perfectly fine. Capsicum pubescence are black seeds, yeah. No, no, no. They're normal. I always forget about that. Capsicum pubescence or black seeds naturally. When you uh, harvest a pepper, always stick skin on those. Cut it open. Black seeds. Um, there's some reviews I did with capsicum pubescent types. If you scan through enough, you'll find me cutting a uh, probably Manzino maybe. I know I did a Manzino cream. You could have I think I cut it open up on camera and uh, show the seeds. So, yeah, they're black. That's normal. That's normal. Oh, that reminds me. With all the trolls and the haters, somebody's like, Pickle sends rotten seeds. He's horrible. And meanwhile, I found out after they blocked me and blasted me for three months. Did not know that. Somebody told me. I can't remember who it was. It was a capsicum pubescence. That's the color of the seeds. And they blocked me and got other people not to buy from me because the seeds are black. They didn't know they're ignorant. Ignorant is lack of knowledge. And they were rude. But it happens. Yeah, capsicum pubescence. Uh, okay, so I answered that. Yes, black seeds. Uh, great. That's great news. <laughs> that's great news. They were extra seeds anyway. Awesome. Do they have longer germination? Generally speaking, no. Maybe an extra week. It depends how you do it. I keep my temperatures up. I germinate them in like three weeks. I forgot. I bought some from you. Cool, Dirk. Anyway, I'm running out of battery. Um, I'm always looking to push sales. Guys need seeds. They're going to keep. These seeds are fresh. So, the bread I make is fresh. It's soft and it's steaming. So, Isolated seeds, JP Pepper seeds.com.